at this level, but even just a solid finish. If he comes in and rides three for three and ultimately finishes in the top three or four or five even for a lot of these guys, it completely changes their momentum. I, I think you got to be three for three to get that confidence. If you buck off, you left something on the table. If you go in there and you ride all three bulls, there's nothing you could do more. You did your job. Uh, somebody drew better. The judges, you know, like the other guy better. You did your job. And that's where the confidence comes from. Well, the confidence going to have to be high because when we get to that championship round, the caliber of animal athlete in that championship round is definitely going to be at its highest level. So not only are you going to have to show up and ride three for three, you're going to have to ride a rank one before you leave town. Yeah, that's the thing about the Unleash the Beast Tour is when you come here, you might scave through and get one that's a little, has an off day or maybe the easier one to draw. But when it comes to that championship round, all the cards and all the chips are on the table. They're going to run a bucker, and you got to make it count then and there. Well, and that being said, it doesn't matter what position. If you get into one of those 15 spots, Stetson Lawrence, for example, last weekend, 14 other men left him with a bull mind freak. Nobody had ever ridden him. Stetson steps in, first man to go in that round, and has to get it done. Hits him a dinger right over the fence. Home run right off the bat. Speaking of home runs, Joao Ricardo Vieta looking to hit a walk-off home run aboard all the way up. The last time they rode this bull, 87 points in Chicago for Cody Jesus. Joao. Looking to be 88 or better to take a share of that number one position. But ultimately, the opportunity ahead of Joao is to leave Georgia as the number one bull rider in the world. And he can do it too. This bull is going to be good for him, I believe. This bull should turn back right in the door to the left and kind of have some good kick, good time, and good speed. Everything in, is in JR's favor here. Joao just about set to go. Just mere moments after his first attempt and being rewarded a re-ride all the way up. K bar C bucking bull. You want that bull to back up right there. You don't want his nose right against that front of that slide because when he turns, he's able to hip himself. Here we go. Joao poised in great position. Now back the other way. A year ago, that would not have happened. When that bull went back the other way, he would have got him down. This is a new guy. This is not the J.R. Vieira that we've seen for the last five years. This is a Joao Ricardo Vieira that has his sights set on that coveted world championship. And this will help his cause 87 aboard all the way up. If the bull stays the left, I think he wins the go around. But when he goes back the other way, he flattens out, and JR misses one jump there, and you see him slide off his rope. But he did make the whistle, and he gets, it, gets him some world points and a good check. He gets a top three finish here in round one. And top three in the round will get him points towards those world standings.